Hey, hey, let me tell you something, man. It's your boy AT checking in live from the road. So, I'm out here in the boondocks in the middle of no fucking where. I mean, in the middle of nowhere, up here by Canada, somewhere. And uh, this load right here I had to take me back down south, it's pretty cheap. Oh, it's pretty on it's pretty much on the cheap end, right? So, the boy had to ball out to come up here. You know what I mean? I was about to do my KOD thing. King of the Deadhead, for those who don't understand. I was about to get on my KOD, just go straight home. But then I was like, you know what? Let me do like the rest of them and, and just cover my fuel. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this one came out paying right at like a dollar, a dollar sixty or some crap like that, man. But anyway, getting to my point of me making this video, there was a driver there, you know, couldn't speak good English, said he didn't have, said, ask me where to get fuel in, and I was like, man, I ain't seen no fuel station around here, man, in like, about 300 miles, and he was like, oh, okay, I don't have any fuel, I was like, man, You may need to uh, call your company, man. Tell them to get you, bring some fuel out here. He's like, "Oh, I'm not a company driver. This is I'm an owner operator." <laughs> I was like, "What?" I almost bust a laugh out in his face, man. But ah, man, I say all this, man, to say that's what y'all get for getting that cheap freight. All right, and. Whatever happens to me, happens to me because I did not help him out. I did not help him out. I didn't even have enough money to help him out. Hell, all I got in my pocket is $200. And that's for emergency purposes. For stuff like that. But, I don't get myself into no jams like that. You know what I'm saying? I fill my tank up that's going to cover me because I know I'm deadheaded or I'm out. I'm Like I said, I'm from the uh, fuel station about, I wouldn't say 300. I'd say about 200 miles. And uh, so I filled up, you know what I'm saying? So 400 miles of fuel, I got, but I just went on and filled the tank up because it was the cheapest gas. I mean, cheapest fuel around. Don't say gas because this is a diesel. All right, they will chop your head, not chop your head up. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna cuss you out. They will holler, they will scream at you, let you know that this is not gas, this is diesel. But uh, I'm just saying, in case y'all talk to my old heads out there on the fuel line, they're gonna call you a rookie. They're gonna think you're a rookie talking about some gas in the truck, in the semi truck. Anyway, that's a whole different subject. So, man, maybe the ship will help them, you know what I'm saying? I, you know. I told him, man, call your broker, ask for a fuel advance, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to take off the money, you know, you know what I'm saying, we going to the same place, so, it, you know, I told him, hey, man, I see you Friday, man, see you Friday, bubba, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, it is what it is, man, that's why we tell y'all, don't get that cheap freight. Ain't no telling how much he grossed this week. Ain't no telling how much fuel he done spent. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, 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 I can't, I ain't got no money, bro. I, I, just, I don't, you know. It is what it is. We'll catch y'all on the next one.